guys, welcome back to another video. By the way, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys had an amazing time with your family. I know I haven't uploaded in like four days, but I decided to take a small little break to spend time with the family for the holidays and it was awesome, but I'm definitely ready to come back to filming. And for today, I decided that I want to do my entire makeup with my favorite products that are only under $10. You heard it right. So for today, I wanna let you know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your makeup look good. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the brows. By the way, Vlogmas is now over and I have a couple of makeup products that no one claimed. So I decided to put all those makeup products together and do one giveaway for one Lucky Pita Chip. So if you want to enter the giveaway and want free makeup, then make sure to go check out my Instagram. I'm giving away all the details on how to enter the giveaway. For the brows, I'm going to be using, this is the Broadway Beauty and this is the Eyebrow Pencil in Light Medium Brown. So I recently discovered this one when I did the full face of makeup from Dollar General. I love everything about it. I love that it was was only like three bucks. It comes with the spoolie, with the sharpener, and the cap, and it's just awesome. I really, really like this pencil. So I started using this one to fill in my entire brows, but then I figured it was a really good combo with my eyebrow pomade if I used it to eyeline the brow, and then to fill in the brow with the pomade, and it works amazing. So for today, this is what I'm going to be using because it's one of my favorite ones, and you can find it at your Dollar General. Um, if you don't have a local Dollar General, then I'm pretty sure you can find it online if you just look up Broadway Beauty. It should come up or something. But I'm just going to use this to outline my brows. I find that it's easier when I outline them. It's easier to guide myself what I'm doing and stuff. So I'm just going to outline them very quickly. I like to make my tail a little bit longer because I feel like with longer brows, my eyes look a little bit more wider and open. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But <laughs> I like to do that. Okay, once they're outlined, I like to go over with the spoolie and just brush everything out. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Brow Pomade. There's a lot of pomades you can use, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Day Brow Pomade, but that one is like $22. There's also like the Elf Brow Pomade. There's many other ones, but I really love the LA Girl Brow Pomade. I feel like it's so creamy and it just gets the job done. I feel like it's honestly a dupe for the Anastasia one, except it's like super inexpensive. And this one is in dark brown. It's one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E11 brush. This is an angled brush. It's one of my favorite ones to do my brows. See, this is why I outline my brows because I just feel like it's easier. I just already just go inside and just start filling everything in and it just makes it way easier. Okay, so brows are done. I literally just used a little bit since I feel like I already have really thick and bushy brows. I just fill in a little bit, not too much. I'm going to comb it out once again. Now it's time to clean up the brows. So I'm going to be using my favorite concealer of all times. Now these are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I usually always use shade 10 light or 15 light. It just depends if it's winter or during the summer or sometimes I just mix them up. But these are some of my favorite concealers as you can tell. I'm literally almost running out of these. So these are due for the NARS Creamy Rating Concealer. The NARS Creamy Rating Concealer is $31 um, or $32. Either $31 or $32. And these are super inexpensive. And they're really good. They're really creamy. They have really good coverage. It has a pretty easy one to work with. So for today, I'm going to be taking... Let's take number 15. We're going to take a little bit of this. Put it in the back of my hand. I'm gonna take my favorite concealer to clean my brows. This is by far the best brush that I have found so far. And it was literally only 99 cents, $1. Um, this one is from Miss A AOA Studio E115 brush. This is a flat brush and it's like the best thing ever to do your brows. You have to go ahead and order yourself one of this from Miss A. Or if you have a local Miss A store near you, then make sure to go ahead and get one of these because they're the best thing ever. So now for my concealer, I'm going to just be using the Morphe R33 brush and I'm just going to use this to blend everything out. So I usually always have a little bit of concealer left in my hand. So what I do is I grab the brush and I just dab it around my eyelid and then I just start pressing into my eyelid. Okay, so we have the concealer on. We're gonna move on to eyeshadow. This is usually how I start my makeup, first brows and then eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Aftershock palette. This is from Bad Habit. You can actually get the bundle 
bundle of six palettes. I don't know where the other two are, but it's a bundle of six palettes. For today, I'm going to be using two of the palettes, which is After Dark and After Shock. First, I'm going to be taking Skin to Skin, and I'm going to be taking Skin to Skin with this. This is my Morphe um, 433 brush. What I'm going to do is I'm literally going to just press it on the crease and to blend it out. Next, I'm going to be taking Cheeky, which is this shade right here, with my Morphe M456 brush. And I'm gonna take Cheeky and put it right underneath where we put Naked to Naked. Next step is I'm going to be taking this shade. This is a crown brush, I believe, but it's pretty old, so literally everything faded away. But just any blending brush will do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit. Whenever you're using a very dark shadow, it's so much better to start off very lightly and then work yourself with the pigmentation versus starting off with just like a big blotch of shadow and then not being able to blend it. So it's better to start off little by little and then build it up. Okay, next step is we're actually going to cut the crease, but we're not going to be using any concealer. I'm actually going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is one of my favorite eye pencils ever. Major throwback. I used to use this in high school, and until this day, I still use it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my AOA Studio F16. This is one of my favorite brushes to cut the crease. It's so precise, and it just helps you and make the process so much easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the brush, and I'm literally just going to brush it through the eye jumbo pencil, and I'm going to pick up some of the product and I'm literally just going to cut the crease. I'm using this one because it just makes the yellow more pigmented and it makes the blending process so much easier. So after I am done cutting the crease, it should look a little something like this. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M166 brush. And I'm going to be taking Electronica, which is this yellow shadow right here. And I'm just going to pop it right on top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Look how pretty that yellow looks. Yes. It just makes it so much more pigmented. Okay, once we apply the yellow, I'm going to be taking skin to skin and I'm going to take in a little bit more of Cheeky and I'm going to just pop it on the crease to try to blend the yellow with the crease color. Okay, the next step is we're going to take that same brown shadow that we were using earlier. We're going to take it in this Morphe M506 brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start applying it all over the outer corner of the eye very slowly. Now the key of this look is to blend and blend. So honestly, I'm just going to take this very slowly and just blend the heck out of it, girl. So your look should look a little something like this. We literally only used four shadows, which was the yellow, the brown, and then skin to skin and cheeky. And this is what it looks like. Obviously, it doesn't look complete because we don't have lashes on. And I'm still missing this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do this eye off camera and I will be back. Okay, now that my eyes are done, we're going to move on to eyelashes. My favorite lashes at the moment are the Salon Perfect Fully Stacked. These are the Times 2. These are such pretty lashes. They're very flared out and they're some of my favorite ones. And they're super comfortable to wear, like the Band is not too thick or not too thin it's just like in between so I really like these and now for eyelash glue I struggle so much when it comes to eyelash glue I personally don't like the black glue because I feel like if I mess up a little bit if I just pop on the lash on the wrong place it's just gonna stain my eyelid so I don't like that so I personally just like a clear adhesives way much better I feel like they're easier to work with at least for me so this is a kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe vera this is a clear one this one is only $2.99 at Walmart and it's hella good like I cannot tell you how good this is literally if you leave it on for like 30 seconds it's so tacky once you pop it in a single place like it will not move it doesn't glide all over the place so I highly recommend this adhesive is super super good so I'm gonna pop on my lashes and I'll be back the lashes are on they look so pretty so natural I really like these lashes we're gonna move on to the face for primer I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer so I found this one when I was doing some shopping at Ulta and it was only like 
like 10 bucks and I have fallen in love ever since and I'm literally just going to put it all over my nose area especially because that's where I have the most of my pores around the nose area and this area right here and this is like the best primer that I've tried so far it is so good it literally it leaves like a little tint to your face kind of like a pink undertone tint but I really like it it's like such a good primer it smooths out the entire skin and the foundation just glides on so nice next I have to color correct because my under eye circles are pretty bad so I love using this LA girl pro concealer high definition these are by far the best concealers to contour to color correct or just to brighten up the under eye area they're really really good this one is in peach corrector so I'm gonna use this literally underneath my eye area to cover up all the darkness and I apply a decent amount. I go heavy with this, especially now for like the holidays. Christmas Eve, we went to sleep at four, and then, and then Christmas Day, we went to sleep at one. And I just need to catch up on my sleep, so since I haven't been able to, I'm just gonna color correct the under eye area. Look how better that looks, like completely, it just canceled out the darkness underneath the eyes. That's exactly what you want. For foundation, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And this foundation, I feel like, is by far one of the best products that CoverGirl has made. I really like the foundation. It has no flashback. You literally feel like you're wearing nothing on the skin. I have worn this one on very hot days, and I I literally don't feel like my face is melting off. It feels really comfortable on the skin. They have a really good variation of shades. You can mix and match. I just really, really like it. Also, it keeps you matte throughout almost the entire day. And it's just a foundation that once I tried it on, I did a review on this and I was like, yes, cover girl, you did that. I really, really like this foundation. So I'm going to be using this to put it all over the skin. I feel like this foundation is not full coverage right away. You do have to build it up. It's medium to full coverage. But it's one of my favorite foundations. And if you're a person that really doesn't like to wear makeup and you like your makeup a little bit more on like the natural side, this is a foundation that you can definitely use because literally a little bit can just make you feel like you have BB cream on. So if you don't need a lot of coverage with just probably like two pumps, you'll be good to go. But I like mine super full coverage, so I have to go in with probably like about two layers of foundation. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like on the skin. It looks so nice and so radiant, but literally it feels so lightweight. You feel like you have nothing on your skin. Now we're going to move on to concealers and I'm going to be using these two, the 10 and the 15. So light 15 and light 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it all over my under eye area. Okay, so now I'm going to take 10 light. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to contour. I always need to contour my face and no matter what. So I love using the other girl. This is the Pro Conceal HD and this one is in Chestnut. It's one of my favorite shades. So I'm going to take a little bit because a little bit goes a long way, trust me. And I'm just going to start contouring. All right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my Real Techniques by Sam & Nick. This is the Duo Fiber Contour Brush and I'm going to start blending everything out. And what I like to do is I like to bring everything towards the hair. So everything can look nice and blended. This is one of my favorite brushes before. I used to use my Morphe blender, which is one of my favorite ones. It's super inexpensive, only $7. But I recently discovered this one, and I didn't recently discover it. It's been in my kit, like in my brush kit, but I just recently discovered it for the contour. And I've been in love with it ever since. It's literally the best brush to blend out your contour. And I'm going to take my Morphe blender, and I'm going to blend everything out. Okay, next I'm going to take my Morphe M173 brush and I'm going to use this to blend the concealer in the inner corner. It's a little bit hard to get in the inner corner of my eye with my Morphe blender, so I usually like to use this brush, which really comes in handy. And if it's just perfectly in the inner corner, and then I just like to press the rest of the concealer to make sure everything is nice and blended. These concealers are so good. Like, whenever I don't have any money, I'm like, okay, we don't have money to buy the NARS Crema Rating Concealer. Let's go ahead and let's go buy the Maybelline Fit Me one because it's, like, so bomb. It's, like, the best concealer ever. Then to blend the nose, I'm going to use my Morphe G42 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to blend the nose. It's, like, so precise. Really nice. And I'm going to just blend everything out. Okay, next step is going to be to just go ahead and set the face and bake underneath the eye area. I have 
my baking powder, which is my holy grail, which is the Laura Mercier translucent powder, right? So I cannot use any other powder except that because I will literally crease underneath the eye area. So I heard a lot of people talk about the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting a Loose Powder in Translucent. So I was like, you know what? I want to give it a go. I want to try it. So I tried it two times and I hated it. I just didn't like it. I started using it again because I was like, you know what? It's just, it's very finely milled. So I was like, that's very weird that it didn't work out for me. It didn't give me a white cast, nothing like that. And I was like, it looks very similar to the Lamar Escape. So I tried it one more time, but this time I tried baking for just a little bit. And then when I was done baking, I would press it and go this way, blend it towards the opposite side. And it worked out marvelous. So I'm going to take my sponge like this. First, I'm going to bake a little bit underneath the contour area. I'm just going to bring it halfway down. I learned that if you just bring it halfway, it looks like you're more chiseled from your cheekbones versus if you bring it all the way down. So girl, giving you a little tip. When I do the same thing to my nose area, make it a little more slimmer and a little tiny bit down the middle. Then I'm going to be taking my Morphe M527 brush. We're going to set the entire face. So I'm going to take my Morphe blender and I'm going to start blending everything out. And it also brightens up the under eye area, which is really great. And then I literally just grab a little bit more to just set the entire face completely. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and contour and bronze the face. So I got this mini hula benefit for Christmas. This one was $9, the mini one. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe R4 brush. Favorite brush to just contour the skin. It's so nice. And I just really like the hula benefit because... It's one of my favorite bronzers. I feel like it suits everyone's skin tone and it's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna take my Luxie brush and I'm gonna use this to contour the nose. It's one of my favorite brushes to contour the nose. I feel like it just contours it really nicely. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna move on to blush. My favorite blush that I have been using nonstop is the LA Colors Rad Rouge blush and this one is an awesome. Now for highlight, this, I cannot rave about how good this highlight is. And I can believe how inexpensive it was. LA Color Strobing Illuminating Powder. And to this one, it's in champagne. This will literally blow your mind away. It will just... You just have to... Just wait till you see how it applies. This is the Morphe E61 brush. This is, has turned out into one of my favorite... Highlighters. Ever since I bought this, I haven't stopped wearing it. Like, literally, if you see me wear a highlight, it's this one. I'm going to apply it. Wow, do you see that? And I love that it's a highlighter that looks more like of a wet finish instead of, like, really powdery and chalky. I just love this highlight. It's so nice and pretty. Okay, I'm going to blend everything out to make sure nothing looks too harsh. and Everything looks very nice and well blended. I almost forgot I have to go ahead and do my drop shadow. <sighs> Did I forget that? Okay, so I'm going to take the same yellow we were using earlier. I'm going to use this to put it all underneath the eye area. And I'm going to be taking champagne to use this as the inner corner highlight. Okay, now I'm going to take that brown shadow we were using. Also apply it underneath the eye area to smoke it out a little bit. Oh yeah, that brown gave it a very nice effect. We have to do lips. This is my favorite lip liner. This is by NYX. This is the Sweet Matte Lip Liner and this one is in Soft Spoken. It is one of my favorite lip liners. So I'm going to outline my lips with this. And the shade Soft Spoken is literally perfect for when you want to do like a nude lip. This is the best liner. 
So I like to just grab the liner and fill in my lips just to know and make sure that my lipstick can last a long period of time. I'm going to be using this Sephora lipstick, which are some of my favorite lippies. I couldn't believe that they released a collection like this. They have all different kinds of colors. This one is in a brunch date. This is matte number one. These are the hashtag lip stories that they released a couple of months ago, and I honestly love this shade so much, so I'm going to just go ahead and apply it all over the lips. They're so creamy and super matte, but they feel also very velvety on the lips, which is something that I really like about them. You know, I'm deciding whether I want to apply lip gloss or not because this is by far one of the best lip glosses that I have found so far. This is the Broadway Colors Elixir Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Glamour. And this one was only two bucks at Dollar General, and I've been obsessed with this since the last time I tried it. So I kinda wanna do a lip gloss, but I kinda don't wanna do a lip gloss. What do you think? Should we do lip gloss or no lip gloss? Do you see how pretty this lip gloss is? It's just so gorgeous, I freaking love it. You guys have to go to your local Dollar General and pick one of these up, cause you're literally gonna fall in love with them. Okay, so this is the completed look. Let me know how I did. I'm honestly super proud that I used yellow on my lids instead of using like browns and burgundies because you guys know that I always use like very neutral tones on my eyes. So I'm hella proud that I'm using yellow. Slowly but surely, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. Also in the comments down below, please let me know what are your favorite products under $10. I would love to go to the drugstore, take a trip, purchase your favorites and put them to the test to see if maybe they work out for me. Purpose of this video, guys, is to let you know that you don't have to spend Spend a crazy amount of money to look good. You don't have to spend like $50 on a foundation. You can just use the CoverGirl one for like nine bucks. And I understand you. I feel you. I was like, you know what? When I was in high school, when I didn't have a job, I wish that someone would have made these videos for me. I understand you, girl. We got babies to take care of. We have bills to pay. We have priorities. We got to pay college tuition. We got to buy our books. Whatever the case is, girl, I got you. This channel, you know, is all about looking good in a budget and saving as much money as we can. So, girl, don't worry. I got you. And I will leave all the products that link down below in the description box in case you want to check them out or purchase any of them or just look around and see if maybe you see something that you like so don't forget to go to my instagram and check out the giveaway all the giveaway details to win a free makeup and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be part of the pdhf family and i'll see you guys on the next one bye my loves